Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC data doubler in a 17-inch MacBook Pro mid-2009 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three screws as they are longer than the other seven Phillips screws. Once all 10 Phillips screws have been removed, lift up on the bottom until the snaps inside come free. Set the bottom to the side. To remove the optical drive, start by unplugging the SATA connector by lifting up on the edge with your nylon pry tool. Remove this Phillips screw. There are three Phillips screws to remove here. Start with this one. Then remove this screw. Finally, remove this Phillips screw. We need to remove this bracket using our Torx T6 screwdriver. Hold the bracket with a pair of tweezers so that it does not fall into the computer once the screw is removed. Now remove the last Phillips screw. Use your nylon pry tool to lift one side of the optical drive, then pull it free of the MacBook Pro, making sure not to snag on any wires or cables. We will reuse the hardware from the optical drive on our OWC data doubler. To remove this SATA connector, gently pull it free. We need to remove this bracket by unscrewing the two Phillips screws. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. Use the larger black Phillips screws that came with the Data Doubler to secure the drive in place here. Using the two Phillips screws from the optical drive, Install the bracket here. Connect the SATA connector by pushing it in place until it is secure. Slide the data doubler into place until it lays flat and is below any wires or cables. Use one of the silver Phillips screws that came with the OWC data doubler here. Tighten these two Phillips screws using the original screws that you removed earlier. Using the one that you removed earlier, replace this Phillips screw. Plug the SATA connector into the motherboard until it locks into place. Replace this Phillips screw with one of the silver screws that came with the data doubler. Reinstall the bracket using your Torx T6 screwdriver. Set the bottom of the MacBook Pro in place. Push here in the center until it locks in tight. Replace all 10 Phillips screws on the bottom, starting with the three longer ones here. The OWC data doubler and second hard drive are now installed. You can turn your MacBook Pro over, open it, and turn it on. 